Uh, good afternoon, it's David Nash, the Wahoo agent. We're just sitting here by a beautiful canal, a few canoes coming back and forth, and I'm sitting here with Fred Brooks of Pacific Panel Cleaners. And we're gonna talk a little bit about solar, and please let us know if you have any other questions. I've got a few of my own, and I'm sure you'll have a few as well. So thanks for joining me today, Fred. It's my pleasure. Great to have you. Um, just had a few questions. So, in Hawaii, solar seems like a good idea. Oh, yes. Okay. So, because we have great sunshine all the time, can they go on most regular houses? Like, what kind of pitches do you need? And The ideal pitch and place you want to have it is a south-facing orientated roof. That's your ideal, but for portable tank or solar hot water, they can go on any roof type. They have attachments for any roof type, and they can be facing any way that's either most aesthetically or proper install to put it in. So the ideal one is facing south just for the sunlight, but any way that you face it, you will create energy. Okay. And then, no, we're talking about both photovoltaic, which is the ones that make electricity, and on the passive solar, which are the ones that basically heat your hot water, yes. right? The, the one rule with solar hot water, if you see them sometimes, you'll see some of them tilted up, some of them laying flat, parallel with the roof. The thing that happens with that is there is a code that you have to face the solar hot water to the south. Okay. So if you ever want to know where you are in a neighborhood, look for the solar hot water panel, it'll face south. Okay, opposite of Moss then. <laughs> Moss is always on the north, north side. Right? Exactly. So the thing with photovoltaic is there's no code for it, it needs to be laid. You lose a little efficiency, but it's not enough to warrant not putting it up on your roof. Okay. Now if I had a piece of my yard even where I wanted to put a photovoltaic that instead of putting on my roof, could I do that? They have ground mount systems and pole mount systems that can go up. Uh, every area is available to put it. There's people that have actually used them on their walkways. So their walkway coming into the house is a photovoltaic array. Okay. They also have them in cabanas and some people build awnings over their deck that have too much sunlight and they actually put a photovoltaic system above it as well. Okay, good. So it doesn't matter where you put the install as long as it catches the right aspect of the sun. That's it. That's the main that's the main goal of it and when they do a site assessment, any company comes out, we'll do a site assessment and they'll give you an average analysis of what it would produce where it is at. Okay, okay. And now we talked a little bit about the cost factor before. What about my ongoing cost factor? I know that you do a lot of maintenance and it's important to keep them clean, but could you just you know, maybe touch on what a certain size system is or how much maintenance they need? For the average houses that would be going in for a good price system is about a 10 panel photovoltaic system. To clean that, you would want to do a twice a year cleaning or at minimum a once a year cleaning. Each cleaning comes down to about $50 that includes an inspection and a cleaning. And that's the main maintenance you want to do on the photovoltaic systems where you sell out water because you are taking energy from the sun and it needs to go through a glass plate. It's like if you left your car outside and it rained, you would definitely want to make sure that you cleaned your windows before you drove. So that's the same thing. Maintenance is basic. You just want to look at it, make sure that your wires are still good and keep the panels clean because if the sun can't shine through the glass, you're not creating energy and you're wasting your investment. Okay, okay. Now that's, um, that's normally once a year or twice a year at least. And then what about for solar hot water? Those don't matter as much if they get dirty or? It doesn't matter as much if they get dirty, but what you need to inspect on the roof also is the solar hot water panels have a silicon gasket on the outside. That can start fading and that'll allow water to come in and start creating some damage on the inside. Also on the copper piping, the plumbing piping that goes up on the roof, they have a foam insulation on that as well. And after letting it sit on the roof for five years, six years, that foam insulation starts to deteriorate and then you're letting the cold water come up and it's releasing into the air and then the hot water coming out is dissipating so you're actually losing the heat that panels are creating. So you want to look at that as well. When they first installed it, they put it on there for a reason. You need to upkeep it and, and check that out. Once a year inspection on solar hot water and cleaning of it is usually good enough. Okay. Real good. Well, thanks so much. I'm sure we'll come up with lots more questions, and uh, hopefully our internet audience will also send us some. Thanks so much. Have a great day. My pleasure, David. Right. Thank Aloha. you. Aloha.